got back from spring break. I wore this on the plane. <laughs> it's sick, right? So sick. It's got the nice, like, stripes on it. Hey, kids! <laughs> it's very, like... Wait, let me... Beach hat and then just the the most wintry apparel. What's up, guys? What are you kids doing? What are you up to? Playing a little ping pong? A little beach volleyball? Can I join? No? All right. I'll be over here. In case you need me. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good to meet you. I've never been to the Bahamas. And that's where we went. It was pretty awesome. Oh, so great. Oh, we'll start from the beginning before I get to all the footage that I recorded. Um, we had to get there first. So, oh boy, let me tell you. So, I live in Illinois, in the US of A, and uh, obviously I have to fly there. So, we first we flew to North Carolina, and then we flew to the Bahamas. And if you don't know, Bahamas is like down and to the right of Florida on like the big map. And I didn't know that either until I looked it up uh, like a week ago. So, you know, I'm right there with you. Long two flights. We had to get up at 345. Yes. We're kidnapping you. Come, Come on. on. Come on. We're kidnapping you now. I'm recording a video, dude. I Come know. On. How did you know? Come because on. we could hear. You said you can't be wrong on this one. Been. Hey, so this is my channel now, guys. Oh my gosh, he's got green lighting in the background. Getting all fancy. That's the big guys. You like the hat? Yeah. Have you guys f subscribed? Oh, I should say it without swearing so you can post it. <laughs> Have you guys subscribed yet? I went to the Caribbean and it was crazy seeing snow. And I was like, I was like he's either like on a face. I thought you were talking to like your or, parents. Or recording. That's what I didn't want to happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, all right. I'm running out of TV space. Video. Get out. Fun Get out. Recording. Bye. Anyway, uh, that was fun. So, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, the flights. We had to get up at 3.45 a.m. to go to the airport. So, <laughs> land in the Bahamas, or we go to North Carolina and then we go to the Bahamas. We'd land in the Bahamas, had the longest pee of my life, uh, and I, I made a note to say that, so it was pretty long. Solid like minute and a half. I, I say this with 100% sincerity. That place could not be more remote. And I'll, you know, we'll get into it. Um, but we land the plane and it's one of those, it's one of those things where it's like the, cause the landing, the pavement has to be super long to catch the plane so that it doesn't go into the trees or whatever. So it's a super long landing like spot, but the airport is in the middle. I don't know why this happens, but it was like a, it seemed like a one way street for the planes to land. So you had to really make sure that everyone's landing and taking off accordingly uh, on schedule and stuff like that. Cause it was, it was, it was thin. So anyway, we land and the plane breaks and then it does a U-turn and turns back to where another plane could have landed but it didn't, thankfully. Uh, holy Lord. Um, so <laughs> it, we turn around and come back um, and we unload right onto the tarmac. Uh, so cool, so much fun. Um, and the airport is just a building, <laughs> just an office building. This is gonna be me complaining for 20 minutes about the wonderful Bahamas. I don't mean to be that, I don't mean to, mean to be that privileged white guy talking. I don't mean to be that. I do not. I am just making a video here. Sue me, okay? I'm making a video. Walked outside, out of the plane, solid 77 degrees. Um, it had been a while since I felt heat on my skin. Walked out with my t-shirt and skinny jeans, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, sweating quite a bit, but it's okay. I had my pretzel M&Ms, so everything was fine. Picked up my brother's girlfriend who was joining us on the trip, and then we picked up my wife's boyfriend, and we <laughs> And we were off. Brother's girlfriend, she's on a different flight. She lands, we pick her up, and we hop in this truck that escorts us to, you know, down this island. So we're on this island called Eleuthera, right? And that'll be important later, because um, Taylor Swift shows up. Spoiler alert. So this nice older gentleman, we hop in his truck, and we drive all the way to, like, the end of this Eleuthera island. And we then hop on this 
mini like ferry boat. The the same man that drove us to the ferry drives the ferry. So that was I thought that was super funny. So we have to get taken from the airport to the edge of the island to sail <laughs> on a boat to the island that we're going. It's a very complicated process. So we have this little beach house thing. It's not exactly on the beach, but I kid you not, it was like genuinely just like right there. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was so great. We get there just so beautiful. It's like exactly what I was expecting for like this. It was like a mini house with like the most beach vibes possible. It's incredible. So the island, it's called Russell Island. So once we get to the island, we have to get to the house, right? And so we're given our own golf cart to drive around the entire island. Um, we're given access to this golf cart and we <laughs> drive it around and it's awesome. Uh, so, Cause I got to be everyone's personal chauffeur for the week. Um, cause I, I wanted to drive the golf cart first and then I just became designated driver pretty much unless I was drunk, which I was, let me tell you, drove it, you know, unfortunately the golf cart capped out at like 15 miles an hour and a remarkable two miles per hour for every hill we decided to climb. It's fine. Again, I'm just complaining. I'm just complaining in this video. God, <laughs> I don't mean to do this. I just think it's funny. All right. Can we all just... Be in, a, in agreement that this is funny. This is for the bit, it's for the joke. We were never in any rush, right? I don't mind crawling up the hill. I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty sights. We get to look to our left and to our right and it's just endless, you know, paradise. Like genuinely, right? I won't say it very much in this video, clearly, um, but it was so great. It was so nice to go. So after a quick tour of the area, so we had this nice, super nice lady that lived next to us at the beach house. She showed us around and like we followed her car all the way to the house. So after we moved into our respective rooms, we drove our golf cart to get some uh, slightly late lunch. It was like 3.30 uh, <laughs> p.m. Um, LOL. So we drove a while to the restaurant and we figured after we ate, we were just like, let's explore a little more. Let's see where this road takes us. Let's get to the dead end. We got off the golf cart and went to go see like the view of like the ocean. Um, there was some weird stuff over there. <laughs> Full on shotgun shells, bu bullet bullet shells. I, I assume they were, they have been shot already, and a bunch of beer cans, just laying in a pile. Bullet shells, and beer. What? <laughs> like, what do these people do on the weekends? Also, the golf cart was all we had. I don't know if I said that. This is this is all we got. We don't have a car or anything. This is, the golf cart is all we have. So, um. Obviously we have to go to dinner, so you can imagine we had to drive this thing in the dark. And let me tell you, getting <laughs> getting lost on this remote island, which we did more than once, by the way, in nothing but a golf cart is utterly terrifying. I mean, we were lucky enough to get headlights on the thing, but there, there were no doors. <laughs> there were no doors on this thing. There were no seat belts. So it felt like taking one wrong turn would get us eaten by lions or something um because it just <laughs> felt like listen i don't know okay it was it felt like a jungle you know and that's what makes it so remote that's what's so ironically the charm of of the island of the bahamas um it's so remote there are trees palm trees everywhere um it just got really like bushy in places um and especially at night it's like scary stuff um so we never got eaten we were fine I know, <laughs> sucks. So my brother's girlfriend's grandmother texted us last night at dinner saying that apparently Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are here right now <laughs> on the same island we are. My mom, she's a really big fan of Taylor Swift. My brother's girlfriend, she's a really big fan of Taylor Swift. My wife's boyfriend, he's a really good fan. <laughs> so apparently, apparently Ta Taylor Swift is here with us. Um, so we, we're on Russell Island and we, and we have to take a boat, like a little ferry over to Eleuthera, which is where we are now. We're waiting on a car to travel the island. Apparently not only did Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey fly here, but reportedly, according to articles, um, on the internet, which are only somewhat credible, apparently she flew in on Sunday with him to North Eleuthera, which could mean that she flew into the same airport that we did. <laughs> Just knowing that is really insane. <laughs> so what do we do now? I don't know, shake her hand or something. 
if we can find her. So yeah, I say it in the video, obviously it's just like crazy that she's there, but I didn't really think about it as of recording the video, but that is insane to hear the fact that we heard that Tay Sway, T Swizzle could have flown anywhere in the world for a little getaway. You know, she could have gone to Hawaii, you know, Venice, sorry, billionaire, uh, outer space. And she chose Eleuthera. Anywhere in the Bahamas, she could have chosen. And she chose Eleuthera. The same island that we flew in on, the same week she did, possibly the same day, and the same island that we were planning to explore the day after we find out that she's there. Like, I mean, <laughs> what's next? Tom Cruise could fly in and say hi. That would be super cool and nice. All right, so I'm editing, it's a different day. I'm editing this video right now. And I just realized that I did not talk about nearly as much as I should have about this trip. I kind of just ended it there, sort of. So I, I wanted to, like, we did a lot of things on this trip and I just want to do it justice. We, we saw pigs. We went to this island called Pig Island one day and we pet a bunch of pigs. We, we you know, they did tricks and we, we got to feed them and, and, you know, we did all that. We swang on these swings that were basically in the middle of the ocean while surrounded by these stingrays and other kinds of fish, which was horrifying. <laughs> then we, we saw a shipwreck. I, I didn't go in the water, but Peyton and his girlfriend uh, went in the water and searched this shipwreck with, with the GoPro. Um, that was awesome, like to see the footage after that, like that was just incredible. We went on this cliff side where there was, there was these, these little like baths called the, like the queen's baths, I think they were like, it was like warm water that you can swim around in, uh, in like a natural tub, um, on this cliff side of just rocks. Um, and it was gorgeous. It was so gorgeous. Um, but the main thing that I think is the most exciting here, and also I got the most footage for it, um, was this hole <laughs> that is in the ground and there's water at the bottom it's it's a it's quite a deep hole but there's water um so you can probably guess where this is going <laughs> but that wrote this, this one is so sketch. Okay. it's about a 25 foot drop estimated by my brother we had to do it we just had to do it it was, it was obviously it was part of our plan um so obviously we got our car that day and we drove around and after going to the queen's baths we uh, drove to this place and it was sketchy. Like you, you can see in some of these videos that my brother is testing out the way to climb back up, which there was a ladder, but it was a rope ladder tied to a couple pieces of plywood that were like secured at the top of the, the, the cliff jump. Um, there were a few ropes that you can use to pull yourself up and the ladder was there as well, but it just, the whole thing was just very, like yikes, um, like we're honestly, I'm glad that another, another car showed up and more people showed up eventually. Cause for all we know, we, I mean, we've never been here obviously. So this place could have been, you know, <laughs> completely abandoned for years and we could have jumped in and never gotten out or something. I don't know. Call the fire department, call a helicopter. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> I just think that was, that was sketchy, but it was funny. Um, it's funny looking back anyway. So I have a lot of videos of us jumping in. So I guess here's that. I just, can you tell how deep it is? Jump out. Yeah, jump out. Yeah, jump out. Jump out. Yeah. Yeah. Great four. That's not cold. That feels great. I mean, you rip, you pull yourself up a little bit, but you can also use you know, your legs. To... <laughs> I think I want goggles so bad. I know, me too. Bobo money. Oh, fancy. Oh, fancy. Oh, fancy. Oh, you have your glasses with you? Day three. What day is it? <laughs> oh, I like this guy though first. Faces fears. Yeah. Okay. 
know what I'm saying? You're gonna be too He's gonna jump. Uh -oh. he just says, yeah, you're going. <laughs> He's like, once you're out there, it's scary. Yeah. Don't go, don't look. Just start halfway and start running. <laughs> Isn't it harder than it looks? Alright. Alright, I'm gone. 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 Yeah. Yeah, so much fun. That was probably the that was probably my favorite thing that we did cuz it's just the thrill, you know, Jum jumping in the water like I knew going into it that we would find some opportunity to go cliff jumping, just jumping off into into this this beautiful water. It's so gorgeous. So, so pretty. If you ever have a chance to do something like this, to travel, just go, just do it. Whether it's in the Caribbean or anywhere, you know? Like this stuff is never not worth it. I think that's it. Um, back to me, I guess. Like, cause of school and everything, like the conflicts and my brother having a different spring break time than I did, the, you know, the times just never lined up. So this was the first year where we were like, we're together as a family for a week. Let's do something awesome. So yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the, this, whatever it was. Um, kind of just me flexing slash complaining uh, about my vacation. We only have a couple weeks of school left. Oh man, I can't think about it. I can't think about it. Um, it's gonna fly by, I know that. Hope you get some well-deserved rest. Hope you did slash are or going to, something like that, because it's important. It's important. So we all need it these days. All right, fellas, you have a good night. Love you. Smooches. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>